Welcome back. You're watching Democracy in Action, the show for action takers. In our next segment, Reflections on Democracy, we join cultural movement Koi Connection to learn about the ways of the Koi and what the metaphor of a bow and arrow has to teach us about unity. The bow, I mean the bow, as it exists, is a is a monochord, right? Some scientific principles, which was often described as sacred principles, uh, by Pythagoras and his people, when they ventured to find the properties of a monochord, which is a string pulled over two over two ends. The music and the bow, metaphorically and, 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 and in a real way, has given me a renewed sense of agency. That's the word I want to use, agency. It has given me a sense of belonging. Uh, and it has given me a sense of looking at the world that was not there before. What, what happens when I play the bow is, 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 is for me very interesting. I'm still needing to find a vocabulary to, to speak to it in a certain way. So it's a very good question to ask because it's really, it's really putting me at the front end of, of the available words that I've got to describe it. I'm conceiving of a guy sitting under an apple tree. A whole lot of magic potential being imagined by that person. Discovering whatever they are discovering in terms of, you know, the way Pythag Pythagoras and his school and so on. To that individual sitting under the cooker tree with his bow, do we give him the same potential? Does we grant that person that magic? The kind of system, the political system that we've inherited here, and actually that I can say the ANC government post-94 has actually chosen this kind of European-style, Western-style, democratic style of organizing a society does not fit gen uh, 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 beautifully into this part of the world. It shows to me that um, this particular leadership has lost touch with the indigenous grassroots uh, level of understanding this particular culture. And I have only um, um, gained that kind of insight through very simple things like playing music and making my own instruments, but making it based on indigenous knowledge. And this has empowered me, and this is how I want to spread that word, you know, in a, in a lateral sense to everyone who has the time to listen. I agree, and I think it's, 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 it's relatively um, disruptive, the bow, as, as, as a, a, a sort of thing um, in our memory. So once you've encountered or an experience with someone playing the bow or learning about the bow and, and sort of people and groups surrounding the bow, it causes a bit of a disruption in your, in your, in your, in your, in your soul. I would like to say. I mean, the music or the sound that we make um, is made on a combination of 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 handmade instruments, um, as well as what one could probably call Western instruments, approached differently. 
um, in, in, in the sound that one may want to conjure out of it. The bow attracts me as an object, a thing, um, that's, that's really part of our cosmology that's located here in South Africa. So normally people would think of the bow as this hunting thing that you would use to, uh, to hunt. Um, and here, um, these gentlemen were just playing music. The symbolic meaning of the bow and its place as it comes out of the music is that um, is on one level there is what it represents culturally in terms of community in South Africa. So very clearly we have inherited a racially based society that we are grappling with now to unravel but this is our current battle right and how to do that so the way I see it is that um, I have inherited being as part of the colored community so-called as is the case now which is still fashionable, where we still call ourselves by these racialized categories. And unfortunately, colored is still a word that is being used. So I have to deal with that. And the bow becomes my weapon of struggle in that quest for me to, um, to, 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 to battle that particular demon. Stay with us through this short break, and when we get back, we'll take a trip to Chiapas, Mexico to look into the legacy of a community in action. <laughs> 